Boy, it's just a nasty day up here at Saluda Grade Farm. It's just dark and wet and muddy. Not really good for uh, for growing anything, especially uh, leafy greens. But um, anyway, that's not really what I'm here to talk about. I really want to go over my aeration system in my new greenhouse. I'm very proud of it. And uh, I think it's one of the fundamental components of a good hydroponic system because uh, in the past, I've done a horrible job of keeping up with my pH, keeping up with my EC, keeping up with my water and all the plants have grown uh, relatively decent but uh, if you don't have good aeration your roots turn brown and the plants die uh, pretty quickly so without any further ado let me go over my aeration system with you for this large 80 foot long by 10 foot wide uh, floating raft system so you may remember me from my uh, big hit video um, stop using air stones and try this method uh, I think there was like two views on that so if you're watching hi mom and dad uh, anyway so I decided to scale that system up build my own venturis for this system uh, and hook a huge fountain pump up to it and it's worked out really well all of my plants in here are uh, are growing well they don't have any uh, oxygenation issues at all so far I'm gonna keep an eye on it and keep lifting up these um, these things and watching for root rot but so far everything's come out really well so I will show you the main components of that really quick we start over here I scaled up big time and I have a 5,000 gallon per hour water pump I used to use a 400 gallon per hour for my smaller systems but here it is I think it is only three amps, so it doesn't draw a whole lot of power for the surprising amount of water that it moves. It's hooked up to an inch and a half pipe that runs along here, and all of these venturis are hooked up to an uh, inch and a half T, and a one inch pipe comes off of it. I'll show you that in a second. So there it is. Uh, I think my son. I think the water level is a little low. My son put a piece of plywood underneath it to prop it up. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and kick it on. It gets kind of loud, so I can't really run it in top at the same time. So there it is. Uh, like I said, I've got three of those. And um, one of the hardest things that I found when I was researching this is trying to figure out how big of a water pump I needed. Um, so I just basically played around with it a little bit. I built this system here as kind of like a test, uh, a, a trial. And it holds about 400 gallons. <laughs> and I dropped my 400 gallon per hour venturi down in it. Uh, hook up to a 400 gallon per hour pump and uh, all the roots in this guy are fine I've lifted up numerous different rafts on this and they all look good Let's see so I use that formula one gallon per hour per gallon of reservoir uh, nutrient solution I use that formula on this this is about 5,000 gallons, five to 6,000 gallons, and I'm using a 50, I think it's actually 5,500 gallon per hour pump. So anyway, so there you have it. The quick down and dirty explanation for how to build a good aeration system for your floating raft system. <coughs> it actually will work for uh, just about any other hydroponic system that you, that you want to use to add aeration to, uh, to the mix here. The beauty about this over air stones is you can recirculate all this water, all the nutrient solution in there, and while using the same exact pump. So I don't have to have an air pump and a water pump separate, running separate, drawing more wattage. I can all use the same thing in a simple, absolutely simple 
uh, plumbing system. Like it's just, it's just, um, it's six pipes with some T's and stuff like that. So it's, it's no, it took me less than an hour to set it up. And, um, in my, I actually did buy two commercially available Venturi's and uh i i hooked them up just to see how they would do maybe i'd save a little bit of time no i did they're awful they don't they don't hardly work at all and uh they maybe put out a third of the air that my system that my venturi that i that i built uh does not not trying to brag um i don't even know where i got the design from but it wasn't my own maybe i simplified it a little bit and cut some corners <laughs> uh but anyway my next video i will be showing you how to build your very own one inch venturi so you can run it in your own hydroponic system if you want to build a large one like this um <laughs> i do have videos uh, i do have one video on how to build one out of a three quarter inch pipe but anyway um one of the other main things uh considerations is the cost so not only am i adding recirculation but this saved a ton of money running this uh it was if i had to guess it was under 300 dollars for all of this whereas if i had to do air stones um there's a book that i read and it's uh, it's i think it's like aquaponic farming and they said that uh they want to see 1.3 cubic foot per minute air stone underneath every single floating raft that you have and with all the fittings, with all the air stones, and with all the weighted pipe that you'd have to run, I mean, it would just cost a fortune to, to do it in this. And it would take uh, it would take me so long to set up that I would that I would not be running right now because it would just be a nightmare. And then um, and then also like stringing out pipes eight feet on uh, nine feet on that side to get that side aerated oh it just it would just be a nightmare i would not i would not want to do that so anyway uh there you have it i don't think that um there's anybody out there that could not figure it out based on the parameters that i gave you but if you have any questions it's totally fine um i will answer them in my next video uh, but like i said i've got two videos coming one is going to be how to harvest salanova lettuce the right way green and red butter I see a lot of videos that, that they just don't do a good job of explaining it and I think that their method is wrong um, or at least not as productive and they get less yields and then my next video is going to be I'm going to build one of these Venturis for you guys okay and I'm going to replace my two commercially available ones and I'm going to send those Venturis back to Jeff Bezos so anyway like subscribe comment come back and see me anytime okay thanks guys